I told you she'd start. But something doesn't sound right. I think the bus has battery problems. Or it could be the alternator. Officer Lewis, slide me my shoes. I have to go talk to Mr. Simon. <laughs> Son, you're not walking anywhere. I'll be wheeling you out in a wheelchair. Mm, let me see. Maybe if I wiggle this. Whoa. Ooh, watch it. Jean, join me on a trip to Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Join me for today's expedition in Discovery Mountain. In our last episode of this story series called Oshkosh or Bust, our Pathfinder set out in their journey to Camporee. Now, Pathfinder director Gary said that it's a tradition to take the bus. Now, Natasha isn't so sure, and the bus did stall as they left. Will it make it? Now, poor Wyatt, he's stuck at home with a broken leg. Well, in today's episode called Greeley to the Rescue, let's find out how Wyatt's doing and if Madison's fitting in with the Discovery Mountain kids. I hear Mr. Gary's whistle. Let's go. Okay, everyone. Bathroom break is over. Let's get back on the bus. Come on, Devin. You're last. I'm not last. Look, Jake's taking pictures. Jake, the bus is leaving. I'm here. Jake, we almost left without you. Oh, I was just getting a picture of the cornfield. It is beautiful. There's no shortage of cornfields to take pictures of, Jake. All right, everyone on board again? Look around and make sure your neighbor's here. Everyone's here, Mr. Gary. All right, Stan, let's get this bus rolling. Oshkosh or bust? Oshkosh or bust? Mr. Gary, the bus didn't start. Should we sing again? Stan, try it again. She'll start. I'll try, but the engine's hesitating, and it's not good. Uh, Mr. Garcia, let's sing again. I told you she'd start. But something doesn't sound right. I think the bus has battery problems. Or it could be the alternator. Alternator? Stan, do you really think the alternator could be going? The bus started, didn't it? It's not the alternator. Mr. Gary... Mr. Garcia! Hey, man. Oh, good. Let's sing the Pathfinder song. Sure thing. Come on, everyone. Let's sing. Again? All right. We are the Pathfinder The servants of sounded great, everyone. Lana, you weren't singing. I'm tired of singing the song, Miss Wendy. Look outside. All there is to see is corn. Isn't it beautiful? I thought it was beautiful three hours ago, but that's all there is to see, corn. If you're tired of it already, you're in trouble. It's still a long way to Oshkosh. Ugh. I think I'll take a nap. Miss Tamara, she's going to take a nap. How about you? Nap on a bus full of excited pathfinders? I can only dream. I can't wait to see the drama production at Camporee. I know. We get such good costume ideas for Discovery Mountain Camp drama productions. Oh, and this year it's chosen the story of David. I wonder what the backdrops will look like. Ooh, who do you think will be playing David? Who do you think will be playing Goliath? Excuse me, Stan? Oh, Miss Simon, yes. What's an alternator? Well, let's just say if the alternator's broken, this bus isn't going anywhere. Well, how can you tell? Well, the first sign is the bus hesitating to start. Battery issues. Okay, well, we're definitely having those. The second sign? Hard to say. But if the headlights dim or the engine temperature rises, both are a bad sign. Well, let's hope neither of those things happen. We have a bus full of kids. And lots of luggage. 
Did you see Kayla's purple duffel bag? <laughs> I did. Who let that on? Well, our director okayed her bringing it on board, I'm afraid. Hey, Miss Simon, Madison and I need a third person to play Uno. Oh, okay, I'll play Judah. You can deal, but you're going down. Well, I'm glad one of the directors is as concerned about this bus as I am. Huh, that can't be good. May I come in? Wyatt, are you sleeping? Huh? Oh, Officer Lewis, where am I? Wyatt, it's okay. Don't move too fast. Ow! Oh, I really did break my leg. It wasn't just a dream. Wyatt, now stay still. I have good news for you. I missed Camporee. I'm stuck in the hospital. My leg hurts. There isn't much good news you can give me. I'm miserable. Well, I'm here to take you home. Dr. Simon said... Really? Dr. Simon said I couldn't leave until tomorrow because my mom has to work tonight. Yes, I know. I'm sorry that your mom has to work the night shift and can't be home when you need her. It's a problem I see all the time when one parent's in jail and the other doesn't have the support they need. Ugh, my mom and I are used to it. So how do I get home then? Well, I talked to your dad and he's very worried about you. I told him I'll take you home and Mr. Simon offered to stay the night with you. Really? Toss me my coat. We are out of here. Ow! Ow! Not so fast, Wyatt. Nurse Megan will be in soon to help you. You have to be careful with that leg, son. I know. I have to keep it elevated like this so the swelling can go down. Then they can put a cast on. I'm sorry you're missing Camp Ree, Wyatt. Oh, me too. They're probably having tons of fun. Singing and playing games and seeing cool sights. Well, Kayla texted me a picture this morning. You want to see it? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. It'll probably just make me jealous. I don't know. Here, look. Uh, it's a cornfield. That's exciting. That was the highlight of the morning. I haven't heard from her in a few hours. I think they're out of cell range now. No cell service? Oh, well, I still wish I was on that bus. The trip getting to Camp Ree is half the fun. Really? Three days on a bus? Fun? Oh, last time it was the best. Say, Officer Lewis, the trip is three days by bus. How long do you think it would take Blue Birdie to fly to Oshkosh? Mm, I don't know for sure. A couple of hours, maybe four? So I could still make it. Officer Lewis, slide me my shoes. I have to go talk to Mr. Simon. <laughs> Son, you're not walking anywhere. I'll be wheeling you out in a wheelchair. All right, then. Let's roll out of here. Do you want me to bring all this machinery you're hooked up to with us? Oh, fine. I'll wait for Nurse Megan to unhook the IV and all these wires. Then let's roll. <laughs> all right, Wyatt. Then we'll roll. Madison, it's your turn. Okay. Let's see... What was that? I don't know, Judah. Your turn, Madison. Okay, wild card. I change the color to red and play a three. Your turn, Judah. Ha, Uno! Oh, man! Hold on, everyone! What's happening? Oh, what is that? Ouch! Is everyone all right? All right. Everyone stay seated and keep quiet. Are you all right, Stan? I, uh... I bumped my head He's and... bleeding! Someone find the first aid kit. Miss Tamara, Miss Wendy, tell everyone about the Campery drama production. You know, distract them. Yes, yes. The story is about David. He was chosen by God. Come on, Stan, let's step off the bus and get a look at you. Watch your step. Ouch! How bad is it? Here, let me take a look. Ow! I think you need stitches. We're in the middle of nowhere. Who's going to do that? Well, I don't know. I just... Hey! That's my friend Jim's rig. Hey, Jim! Wave your arms. Look at that truck. It's him. Jim, could you take me home? Who's supposed to drive the bus? You can drive it, Mr. Gary. Watch for the signs of an alternator problem. The alternator's fine. Natasha, could you help me walk over to Jim's truck, please? Sure. Careful. Stan... Do you think Jim could take you to Discovery Mountain? My mom can look at your cut, and you could deliver a message for me. Our cell phone reception died somewhere a couple of cornfields back. Sure. You want me to tell him about the bus trouble? Yes. Please tell Granddad, uh, Mr. Simon, that the bus stalled and that we might need some help. I'll give him the message. Ouch! 
Will you be all right? Stan, just get back to Discovery Mountain and take care of your cut. We'll manage. Somehow. All right. Uh, bye. Mr. Gary, Miss Simon, is everything all right out here? Judah, come over here, son. You can help me hold open the hood while I look under it. All right. Uh, is that the best idea? <clears throat> Let's see. Wiggle this wire. Mm -hmm. Everything looks all right. Natasha, try starting the bus. Me? Yes, you. All right. Miss Simon, is everything all right? How stand? All right. Everyone quiet for a minute. Thank you. Stan caught a ride home to get his cut looked at. Mr. Gary's going to drive the bus. Miss Simon? Lana, yes? What if the bus doesn't start? What then? The bus should start. If it doesn't, well, then I don't know what we'll do. Miss Simon, try the engine. Okay. Everyone sit back down. Oh no, we're stuck in the middle of the corn forever? What will the Pathfinders do? Stan left to get help for his cut and the bus won't start. Will they be stranded on the side of the road? Stay with us through this short break and we'll find out. Hi, I'm Grant and I play Judah here on Discovery Mountain. Did you know that Discovery Mountain is on Instagram? Follow us for behind the scenes content on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Michelle Snuts and I play Michelle Harris. Part of my regular job is to let you know about what's happening here at Discovery Mountain. I invite you to sign up for our online newsletter. Visit discoverymountain.com and sign up. I'll personally send you updates each week with the latest on our episodes, production, and more. Visit discoverymountain.com and sign up for the online newsletter today. The Discovery Mountain Pathfinder's bus is stalled by the side of the road. Will they be able to get it started? Let's find out. Mr. Gary, are you finding the problem under the hood? Mm, let me see. Maybe if I wiggle this. Whoa. Oh, watch it. Mr. Gary, everyone on the bus is getting restless. Well, we can't exactly go anywhere, can we? But it'll be dark soon. Why don't we just camp here for the night? On the side of the road? No, look, there's an open field right over there. We could talk to the farmer and see if he'd mind. I don't think so. Judah, can you... Hey, Mr. Gary, here comes another bus. Oh, maybe they can help us. Hello? Hey! Hello? Judah, look! Gosh, gosh, you're buzzed. It's another Pathfinder group. Hey, you guys all right here? Hi, thank you for stopping. We're not all right. Our bus... Howdy! I'm the director of the Pathfinder group, Dennis Gary. You are? Oh, just call me Greeley. Oshkosh or bust. How can we help our fellow Pathfinders? Well, our bus stalled. But we have the situation under control. Under control? Howdy, fellow Pathfinders! Jake, stay on the bus until everything is fixed. Oh, we're so bored. Uncle Greeley, is that really you? Devin? Devin, stay on the bus! Uncle Greeley! Oh, never mind. There he goes. Hey, buddy. I didn't know you were going to Camp Arie. Well, we're trying, but we're sort of stuck here at the moment. I don't suppose you know anything about buses, do you? I'd be happy to take a look. Greeley, it's me, Lana. Lana? Oh, wow. Hey, Kara's on our bus. Boy, she'll be happy to see you. Kara? Kara? Mr. Gila, can I please go see my friend Kara? No, wait a minute. Let's all get back on our bus. Um, Mr. Gary, could I talk to you for a minute? Uh, over here. Sure. Thank you for stopping, really. But we, we've really got this situation under control. Look, we were going to camp for the night just a few miles from here. But there's a nice big open field right over there. Yeah, I see it, but it's, it's private property. Let's see if the farmer would mind us camping there for the night. We can eat, let the kids stretch their legs, and I'll help you get your bus back on the road in the morning. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. All right, Greeley. I'll tell everyone. I'll go talk to the farmer. Wait, are they leaving? No, we have a plan. Come on inside the bus. Come on, Devin, Lana, back inside. <laughs> All right, everyone. Here's my plan. We're going to stop a little early. We'll set up camp right here in this open field. Hey, that was my idea. 
and we'll camp with Greeley's group and get this bus fixed. Uh, Mr. Gary, I, I have a really important question. Yes, Jake, what is it? Well, we don't have to share our food, do we? You know, I, I calculated just enough supplies and trail mix for each Pathfinder for each day on the bus a- a- and each day at Camp Ree. And what I found was... Jake, that- I'm sure they have their own food supplies, including trail mix. Good. All right, everyone, let's set up camp for the night. Hey, Lana, do you want to put your tent next to mine? Oh, I would love to, but my friend Kayla is on the other bus and I haven't seen her in a whole year. Oh, okay, I understand. Kayla, I'm coming! Come on, Madison. You can camp over here with me. Let's grab our gear. Thanks, Miss Simon. Kayla, grab your gear. I got it, but ugh, this stuffle bag is so heavy. Here, I'll help you. Ugh, this thing is ginormous. I know. I didn't know I'd have to lug it into a field. I know. Here. I got one handle. Kayla, I hope we make it to Campery. I know. Mr. Gary will know what to do. I sure hope so. Let's go set up camp. Let's just take a look at this engine. I've tried everything I can think of. I wiggled this. I checked the fluid levels of these. I wiggled this wire. Wiggled? You're not very mechanically minded, are you? Now, that'd be embarrassing for my Pathfinders to hear. No, I'm really not. Well, let me take a look. The first thing we should try is jump-starting the battery. Oh, do you have jumper cables on your bus? Sure do. I'll pull her around and connect her. Mr. Gary and Uncle Greeley, do you need help? Devin, sure. You can learn how to jump-start a bus battery, if that's all right with you, Mr. Gary. Yes, yes, Devin. Come on, you can help. As Mr. Gary, Greeley, and Devon connected the battery from one bus to another, the others set up their tents and made supper. It grew dark as the sun sank lower and lower in the sky. All right, let's try this. Mr. Gary, turn her over. Here goes. It started. Good. We may have to jump start it again in the morning, but that should get you to the next town. We're going to get to Camp Marie. I'll go tell everyone. And tell them to save us some supper. Supper? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. (laughs) Now that's a first. Mr. Gary, I've noticed you have a full bus. If you lighten the load, it might run better. You think so? Listen, we have a few empty seats on ours. Well, I don't know. (laughs) Just think about it. Now come on, let's grab some supper. The two Pathfinder groups had fun eating supper, and after washing up and singing some songs with Mr. Garcia, it was time to sleep. Miss Simon? Oh, yes, Madison? Is everything okay? I just can't sleep. What do you think the other Pathfinders are doing? Oh, you'd rather be with them, wouldn't you? It's okay, Miss Simon. They don't really know me yet. It's so quiet. That's true. Cornstalks are quiet neighbors. Miss Simon? Yes? Do you think we'll make it to Camp Marie? We should. Now go to sleep. Don't let the quiet keep you up. (laughs) I'll try. Good night. Good night, Madison. I hope that the Pathfinders get some sleep tonight. Will their bus start again in the morning? If not, their trip may be over. We're going to take a short break, and we'll find out right after this. Hey, it's Sean Boonstra, Speaker Director of The Voice of Prophecy, the ministry that brings you this program. Has Discovery Mountain been an encouragement to the children in your life? Weekly Discovery Mountain episodes are made possible through the generosity of our supporters. Would you like to join us as a supporter? Find out how you can receive a Discovery Mountain t-shirt as a thank you gift. Call us at 1-877-566-566. 7365 today. That's 877-566-7365. Natasha, Mr. Gary, and the Pathfinders are ready for day two of their trip to Oshkosh. Will the bus start? Let's find out. Discovery Mountain Pathfinders, gather around. Kayla, I get window seat today. Remember, you promised... Okay, fine. But if the bus doesn't start, we're not going anywhere. All right, Pathfinders. Now, Greeley and I have been talking. Oh? Our bus is having some battery problems. We might do better with a lighter load. Mr. Gary, Stan thought it might be the alternator. 
It's not because we have too many people on the bus. Let's not worry anyone about the alternator, Natasha. Greeley and I have a plan. All right, I guess. Hey, Discovery Mountain Pathfinders. We have a couple empty seats on our bus. Looking for two volunteers to join our club and ride to Camp Arie. Oh, I would, Uncle Greeley. And me. I could be with Kayla. Well, that settles it. Greeley, Devin and Lana will go with your group. Wait a minute. You can't just send two of the Pathfinders with another club. The parents are trusting us to keep them safe. Oh, well, you do have a point, Miss Simon. Thank you. Devin and Lana, you should stay with us. Do I have two adult volunteers from our club to join them? What? I'll go, Mr. Gary. Jake? Yeah. I really want to make it to Camp Marie, and their bus seems to have a better chance of making it there than ours, so, you know. I'll go, too. Thank you, Miss Wendy. And Jake? Well, what about the food? Jake's in charge of the food. Oh, Miss Simon. Yes, good point. You may take over that assignment. But I, I wasn't volunteering. I was just asking. Thank you, Greeley. Devin, Lana, Miss Wendy, Jake, safe travels. We'll see you in Oshkosh. Bye. Miss Tamara, I'll see you in Oshkosh. Bye, my friend. Be safe. Oshkosh or bust? Oshkosh or bust? Hey, Mr. Gary, how many boxes of trail mix can I take with us? Oh, Jake, you kidder. Kidder? Uh, no, I am serious. Well, take what you think you four need for the trip. That seems fair. All righty. All right, Mr. Gary, try starting the bus. Okay, here goes. The bus is all fixed. Come on, Discovery Mountain Pathfinders. Up and on the bus. Osh, kosh, or bust. Mr. Gary, we'll get your Pathfinders and leaders safely to Oshkosh. See you there. Thanks, Greeley. You're welcome. God has his hand over all of us. He sent us just when you needed help on your journey. He's watching out for each one of us. Watching out for each of us? I pray so. Lord, please watch out for us. Our bus needs it. Mr. Simon? Oh, ouch. Wyatt, you're awake. How'd you sleep, son? Oh, terrible. I couldn't get comfortable with my leg propped up like this. Yes, I can imagine. Dr. Simon will stop in to check on you later this morning. Okay. Is my mom home yet? I smell pancakes. You do. I'll bring you some. Let's just prop you up. And careful. I'll be right back. Ouch. Let's see if they got any cell service yet. No new messages? I guess not. Here you go, Wyatt. Pancakes with blueberries and maple syrup. Just the way you like them. Oh, thanks, Mr. Simon. Did you look it up last night? Look what up? How long would it take to fly from Discovery Mountain to Oshkosh? Oh, that. Yes, it's about five hours and 30 minutes, give or take, depending on the winds. That's all? Then, Mr. Simon, I can still make it to Camp Marie. Oh? How, Wyatt? Mr. Simon, could you take me there in Blue Birdie, please? If I get my cast on today, we could leave tomorrow afternoon and I could still make it in time for opening night program on the main stage. Oh, Wyatt, that's just not gonna work. I'm sorry. Mr. Simon, why not? I'll find a way to pay you for the trip. I'm a hard worker, you know that. You, you likely won't get your cast on tomorrow. It's still swollen. That's up to Dr. Simon. True, well, uh, there's the second reason, Blue Birdie. Oh, it's Dr. Simon. Will you answer the door for me, Mr. Simon? I'll ask her about my cast. I'll get the door, but Wyatt, don't get your hopes up about the cast. It's a little early for Shelly to be here. Let's see who it is. Mr. Simon, I finally found you. Stan, what are you doing here? What happened to your head? Director Doug, it sounds like Stan made it to Discovery Mountain. I sure hope that Dr. Simon treated his cut. Yeah, I hope he didn't need stitches. Oh, and that he delivers Natasha's message. You know, the Pathfinders have had a tough trip, haven't they? Oh, they sure have. I'm worried about their bus. Yeah, I think Stan might be right about the alternator. Well, the rest of the trip has to go better, right? I don't know. I sure hope so. You know, one thing is for certain. What's that? God is going to take care of them. That's true. And he'll take care of Wyatt back at home, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, the poor guy's missing out. 
And exercising our faith can be scary sometimes, like trusting God that he will take care and watch out for us even when a bus won't start. Right, and we have to sleep in a cornfield. There's a great promise in Psalms about that. Let's see if I can find it. The book of Psalms is full of all kinds of promises, isn't it? And many of the Psalms are written by David. Right, the same David that God chose to be king of Israel. That's right, the David that the Campery theme is all about, chosen. Yes, exactly. Oh, and I found the Psalm, here it is. Psalm 121, verse eight. This is what it says. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God preserves or takes care of us when we're going out or coming in. Yeah, that includes our pathfinders on their bus trip, doesn't it? Miss Jean, this bus is making me a little nervous. It's old and seems to be falling apart. I know, I agree. But Director Gary said that riding in the bus to Camporee, well, it's a tradition. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new tradition. Maybe. Hey, Director Doug, I wonder if our listeners would like to see what the bus looks like. That's a great idea. Could we make a coloring page for them? Oh, yeah, let's do that. All right, everyone, visit the website discoverymountain.com and find this episode. Click on the little pencil in the right-hand corner and print your own coloring page. <laughs> yeah, and be creative. Make the bus whatever color you like and send us a copy when you're done. We love seeing your art. We do. That's discoverymountain.com. And join us again next time, and we'll see how the Pathfinders and the bus are doing on their trip to Oshkosh. Oshkosh or bust. See you next time. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. To listen to other episodes and to send us a message, visit us at discoverymountain.com or write to us at Discovery Mountain, P.O. Box 999, Loveland, Colorado, 80539. And in Canada, write to Box 2127, Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, L1H7V4. This is a production of The Voice of Prophecy. Join us again next time here at Discovery Mountain, where every day is an exercise in faith.